and Liverpool were slow to the mm. blocks and never really recovered. Did that level of performance surprise you? From Liverpool? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was disappointed what Liverpool had to do, but again, if you step back, it's their second defeat, so it has to be. I'm pretty sure they'll react and win the next couple of games. They're a top-quality side, but I still think we were expecting them more today. But again, instead of being maybe too critical of Liverpool, as poor as they were, we have to give that bit of credit to Arsenal. Maybe yeah, because they had to win it, maybe they just wanted a bit more. There was a desperation about Arsenal. It felt, it felt, it felt bigger to Arsenal. That's not a, so much a criticism of Liverpool, but it felt almost like they had to win. They knew if they had lost, they'd have out of it. And I think that's why we probably saw some of the scenes at the end of the game. And you saw Arteta celebrating, running up and down the line. It felt, it felt huge for Arsenal. I think that was just, you could see that in the performance. But I think we've got to remember as well, Liverpool are missing a couple of players. Now, everyone misses players. But the players that came in don't have the same sort of athleticism as the way you think of sort of Gakpo and Graven Birch coming in. Decent players, but when you think of Sabozlai being out, Salah being out as well, Nunes on the bench, they're sort of the runners, they've got power, they've got energy. And I think that drop off there was a big problem. I, I think there's also the hunger bit and the fight bit and the intensity bit and the edge bit. But I also thought when Arsenal played through midfield, they played with more courage, they got on the half turn and they were braver actually in their play, particularly in the first half. I think the most disappointing thing for me, probably at the end of it all, I can understand a little bit of a drop-off sometimes when you sort of have that edge and you've been on a 15-game unbeaten run. What I think they'll be most disappointed with is they didn't play, they didn't have the courage to play through midfield, away from home and have authority on the ball. That's really disappointing. But that, that, was, that was weird because, you know, we were talking about, you know, having Gomez coming inside. You wouldn't want this particular player coming in. And if you do, to create space for uh, Arnold on the side, then you need to find a way to find him because we know the quality on his crossing, for, for instance. We never saw that. And what you have from the first 10 minutes is player trying to find him, feeling that he's not comfortable. And then from there, you try to, you know, the tactic is to find and to play through the middle, but you can't because you don't have the player to, to do it. And then something I, is happening and it's I, not I, your game. I always remember at half-time sometimes in big matches, if we didn't play the ball sometimes into Roy or into Scolzi when they were marked, We'd get absolutely killed because we didn't play the ball and trust them in centre midfield and get our midfield players on the ball. And Liverpool were like that, I think, in the first half.